In James 1, verse 25, it says, He who looks into perfect law shall be blessed in his doing. Well, this is talking about a divine order, the perfect law, the perfect organization of God. And it's easy to see that God's world is good and that there is meaning and purpose in all things. When our world flows along with a smoothness and an easiness, when everything just fits into perfect place, well, we realize that God is certainly at work organizing and bringing everything into a divine order. But what do we do when our world seems to have gone crazy, when everything we touch tends to become tangled and confused? Well, again, we look into perfect law, and we're blessed in doing that. We pray for divine order. Divine order, not human order. To pray in this way lifts us above the problem. It lifts us to a place where we can look at the problem realistically and unemotionally and not be blinded by it. From this vantage point, we take stock in the state of our affairs and we see them in the light of truth and we see the necessary adjustments that must be made, adjustments in our way of thinking as well as in our outer practices. As we pray, then right answers, perfect answers of the perfect law, which means everything set from the beginning is reset kind of like rebooting a computer, we see, with God's help, how to set things right. And along with these right answers, we're given the strength and the courage from God to follow through with them. We know what to do, and we have the power to do it.